Hello, I'm David Flannery, a planetary scientist at the Queensland University of Technology, working with NASA on the search for life on Mars. So when you think of life, what do you picture? Probably plants and animals. And you might be surprised to learn that most life on our planet is actually microbial. Microbes are tiny organisms, single cells that are so small, you need a microscope to see them. They were here long before us, billions of years ago, long before complex organisms like ourselves evolved. And they're still here, all around us and even inside us. They perform important functions in our ecosystem, for example, keeping oxygen in the atmosphere and keeping our planet habitable. Today, Earth is the only place in our solar system where we've discovered life. But billions of years ago, Mars may also have hosted microbial life. And now, humans have developed the technology to go looking for it. But Mars today is not a place that's suitable for life, at least as we know it. The surface is extremely cold, and so we don't have liquid water. The soil is toxic and also bathed in deadly radiation because Mars lacks a protective magnetic field. But hidden in the rocks is a story of an ancient planet with rivers, lakes, maybe even oceans. And as a geologist on Earth, I spend a lot of my time peering into the geological record and reading the history of the Earth like a book, layer by layer. My work has taken me to remote field sites, in deserts, ice fields, even deep underground. But that's nothing compared to the challenges of working on Mars. We can't go there ourselves, so we send robots in our place. I helped to develop one of these robots, NASA's newest Mars rover, Perseverance. We sent Perseverance somewhere we thought life might have existed in the past, a meteorite crater that was once full of water. Using the scientific instruments that are attached to that rover, we're now studying the rocks in this area and looking for the same signs of past life and habitats that we study in Earth's geological record. There are many Australians involved in this effort. Geologists like myself, other scientists and engineers are all working together in a global team trying to address one of the biggest questions in science. Are we alone in the universe? If we do discover that life evolved separately from scratch on Mars, even if it no longer exists there today, well, it stands to reason then that life may actually be quite common beyond the Earth. Alternatively, if life evolved only once in the entire history of our solar system, life may be incredibly rare. In either case, we humans have to rethink our place in this universe and our responsibilities here on Earth.